I have been almost exclusively building giant townhouses and apartment buildings and these huge, huge lots ever since the For Rent Pack came out. And I have been really enjoying building with the Rent Pack, but that's the problem. I just keep building with it and only it. You need to make a tiny house from time to time. So that's the plan for today, but it's a tiny house for a werewolf because I never build in Moonwood Mill. I barely ever play with werewolves. So I thought it might be kind of fun to try and make something for them. When I say tiny, I'm I'm not really sure how tiny we're talking here. I think I might be okay with it being a tier two tiny home, so 64 tiles. I've got kind of a weird vision for this too. I almost want it to be like a little bit of a funky shape like this. I don't really know how this is gonna go when it comes to like actually decorating it, but we shall see. I think step one needs to be to wrap this around the building a little bit better because it's looking a little weird right now. Uh-oh, oh no, you can't really do that. Hmm. It appears I have made a very strange looking building. I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. <laughs> I actually don't like it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll we'll make it work. I'm sure it'll be fine. Sometimes it just takes some experimenting with these things to get it to make sense. Do you think I should pull this out a little bit so we can have like a bit of a bump out or no? It makes for a really weird floor plan. I think the upstairs, we're gonna have to hide a bathroom like maybe there or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so if we did something like this, we've got almost exactly 64 tiles. And then I'm imagining I'll get this cool werewolf's roof on the top. I don't really know what color scheme I want it to be. I think we have to use the new werewolves wallpaper, right? Like we can't not use that. It's perfect for this. I'm just not sure if I want it to be a color or not. I think the green is kind of, <laughs> the green's kind of ugly. This is very minty. It's, it's almost like a little not so berry-esque. This is the default color. It's just like a plain wood. I wonder if I could do that, but then use the more fun colored roof. Cause that might work out okay. Is using the default swatch boring though? I don't know. I like this color, I think. Does werewolves come with? No, it does not have a foundation. <laughs> I guess maybe just the brick, right? Some sort of plain dark brick foundation would match. We did get spandrels, but I don't really like them for this. So I won't use them here. Ew, why does the horse ranch one do that? Oh my God, <laughs> nothing's gonna work for this. Of course, nothing matches. That would that would just be too easy. Is that the same color? Like, does that match the... Because I guess I maybe could use it. I don't know if I like it though. Let's try it anyway. And then on the inside... Oh, I've placed 67 tiles. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hold on. That's because I put the roof piece here. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wait, 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 hold on. That has to go away. Okay, now we're fine. Then we just put the werewolves windows everywhere. Oh dear, that looks horrible. <laughs> I didn't think this through with the roof. Maybe I should have made it wider. That's 64 tiles exactly. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. I mean, that is very pointy. <laughs> it's very pointy in like probably a bad way, but it's okay. Imagine they have like some of these little planter, bo uh, that looks bad too. I don't know, just like some sort of little planter box outside. We did get a door, but of course the door doesn't fit. <laughs> Again, that would just be too easy. It would make too much sense if the door fit. Make it smaller. I do like how it brings out like the green color, how we have the green in the windows. Okay, so I guess I'll just use those windows like all over the place. I don't really like how this is looking that much, but I guess I'll have to make it work. I think I'm gonna do wood upstairs and then like the stone stuff, this sort of like destroyed flooring downstairs. We can try and make this part look a little bit better too and less plain. And maybe they could have a chimney or something. Oh, there's no chimneys from werewolves, okay. Well, we can put something like that up here maybe. Perhaps there is a reason that I never use the werewolves pack. And maybe it's because I'm bad at it. <laughs> oh, I forgot we had a staircase from werewolves. Here I was using the one that came with get to work. That looks way better. <laughs> okay, well that's that problem solved. So for this, I think that what we need to do, unfortunately, is have some sort of staircase like this. I might turn this into the bathroom downstairs. Upstairs is gonna have to become the bedroom and we'll just put like the whole bedroom space up here. Oh dear. Okay, hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me fix the clipping that we're dealing with right now. Oh, maybe I can't have it like that. Wait, put it like this. Ooh, we could have, I was gonna say we could have two bedrooms up here, but that's maybe a little bit of a stretch. I don't know about two bedrooms. I guess it could be. If we really tried hard enough, we could have like a bed here, a dresser could be there. Okay, this could be a two, no, this could be a two bedroom house. Look at those little doors. How cute is that? Should I have used that? And, no, no, stop. None of the doors that we have match. I need it to be like a grayish color. And look at all these, these aren't gonna work. Oh, this one will. Okay, that makes me feel sad, but I'm gonna have to make it happen. 
Oh, that also makes me feel sad. Okay, just one window on the side instead. <laughs> the back is really sad, but we're just gonna put some trees back there. I'll, I'll just try and cover it up so you can't tell how sad it is, and that should help. And then downstairs, I guess this room becomes the bathroom, and that gives us one big open space in the rest of the downstairs area. So kind of what I'm thinking right now is that the kitchen will go back here in this corner. We'll have some sort of living room set up, like here, probably not with that rug. <laughs> I'm just trying to space it out. We'll have like some sort of living room here and then potentially if we're lucky we can fit like a dining room set up right here and that will be the full downstairs. Okay so that at least fits everything that we need it to and we can try really hard to make it not ugly. They also don't need to have a dining table I guess so we can just see what we can fit and then base it off of that. Okay here's an idea. Can I put this shelf along the back wall above the staircase? Because that gives you like a nice place to store things and your sims can just drag stuff off of it. Maybe I use this as like a divider between the kitchen and the living room. Not really feeling any of the colors. I want to try and bring in some of that green that I have. Oh, we should put some of these planter boxes outside. Oh no, <laughs> the couch is so big. Uh-oh. I really want to use the couch from this pack. I think it would be really nice if we did. Maybe I could get like a desk set up instead of a dining table because this should still be walkable. The door can be kind of like clipping or whatever, that's fine. And maybe we do a laptop because then you could drag that around, but also if you needed to eat here, your sims totally can. I am unfortunately going to use the word worst appliances. <laughs> I just like how they look. For for this purpose, I like how they look. I should clarify, I don't like how they look in general, but I do think that they work well for this. I also feel like this kitchen cabinet set from the base game will be pretty good for this. Maybe I'd do the stove in front of the window. I never know what swatch I'm using. I always have a hard time with this kitchen set. Does that look horrible? No, they can't have that. Maybe they could have this one though. So they could have like a slight cabinet with some storage up there. Again, I'm overthinking this. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what they have. This has become very samey in color scheme and that's not what I wanted. I could probably get a cool set of posters on this back wall. That might help us get some more color in here or at least make us have something else because <laughs> right now we have nothing going on. Maybe I put a poster above the staircase. Okay that chair is not gonna work. <laughs> I was trying to fit an extra chair but it doesn't fit. It's too big. We are just really working with such little space in here. Maybe this would be better on this big wall then because it fills the whole thing up and then I could get like a cork board. I keep going back through everything from the werewolves pack trying to see what I can fit. We could probably have this set of tires because that's actually a chair so they'd be able to sit on that and that would be good. Perhaps ripped up photo of Vlad above the staircase. Oh, the ceiling fan's always cool. Maybe I could size that down and use it in the living room. And I just realized instead of using the base game trunks, we could use this trunk instead. These ones are actually from the pack and they have a little bit more color to them. I'm gonna want a trash can outside somewhere and then I'll try and fit in some more kitchen clutter. So I think I'll just put a microwave here and then we'll leave this one as a counter for them to cook on. This is actually probably gonna be able to be a starter home, which was not my intention, but is kind of fun actually. It's always nice when you can get stuff for cheap in this game. Ugh, I like the door desk. I think I'm mostly just worried about the fact that it's taking up a lot of room and I think if I used the table instead this still kind of looks like a desk but I could probably scoot that back into the wall more and just put it as far as it lets me and then you have like a bit more walking space if you first come in. Okay maybe I could do that instead. Should I give them like a coat rack? That's horrible isn't it? No none of this works. Oh how about the lamp? The lamp has some nice color to it so that helps tie everything together. I originally was gonna try not to use too many packs but I like the idea of trying to get some clutter on the walls with like a bit of a gallery wall situation. So maybe we could try something like that. My original bookshelf plan as a divider has kind of fallen through because the house is too small. So we're gonna have to find something new. Oh, let's use the little gnome outside. We do have some stuff like this, sort of like, I guess that's sort of like generic fancy letter clutter, but that works. You know what? Maybe I'll end up using this chest again, just to like take up some space underneath the stairs. I'm gonna break out the debug too, because I want to try and get some more decorations this way. And werewolves has a bunch of debug clutter because it's got so many collectibles that you can find and then of course it has a bunch of debug landscaping that we can use outside. Oh my gosh that is a big tree. Okay well hold on I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> I need to stop landscaping. I, I meant to finish the inside. Oh that's nice. 
Oh, I should use that more often. I'm kind of going for like slightly run down, but not terribly run down inside. So obviously it's got some cheap stuff in here, but I don't want it to look gross aside from, you know, <laughs> the parts of it that already look gross. Okay, so in this bathroom, I'm just gonna use the cheapest stuff. We can fit a little tiny toilet right there. I'll get a little tiny sink right here. We do have like a broken werewolf mirror. Maybe I could use that on the wall and I'll give them a little bit of clutter all over the place. Things like these shower caddy items. There's a towel bar and stuff like that. Nothing too fancy in the bathroom. Upstairs, I think up here, we need to be a little careful about how much space we're taking up. So in this little shelf, I may actually give them a couple of the clutter items that we're talking about. There's like cow plant jaws and some other decor pieces that like automatically slot onto this. So I just want to give them a couple of them just kind of as a starting point. I'll also get a thermostat up here. So in case you're playing with seasons, you don't have to worry about the weather. Whoa, why are you doing that? Okay, just place where you want then, never mind. And then this little room, this is gonna become the kid's bedroom. The poor kid doesn't exactly get too much to work with. I guess I could put a bunk bed. No, I don't like it, never mind. I just hate how it looks in front of the window. Maybe they could have kind of like this cool purple-y color scheme. The kid is gonna need some sort of nightstand. Any sort of them will do. And then maybe if we had a teddy bear, do you come in like, a, oh, that blue and pink. Okay, that's good. I'll use this little dinosaur guy. I'm actually really tempted to put the werewolf's bookshelf in here, but I know that's probably a mistake. Even if they can't access it, I just like how it looks. <laughs> I just think that looks kind of cool. We have a cute little werewolf's light that we can use on the kid's nightstand. And then maybe some little kid's wall decals around the rest of the area. Oh, I actually really like how those look together with the owls and the moon. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> we can probably give them a couple more toys on the shelf too. Cause the werewolf pack does come with like two little tiny toys. So I could slot those to the shelf. Actually, maybe last we could try to fit in one of those little kids violins. Cause it comes in this like pinky purple color. That'll fit there. Okay, so there's the full kids bedroom. In the primary bedroom, this one's gonna be a little bit more annoying to work with. <laughs> this one's gonna be slightly more difficult and they're gonna have to have their bed up against the wall. We don't have a double bed from the werewolves pack. So we're gonna have to maybe use one of the base game ones. This is a nice bed. All of a sudden it's not a starter home anymore because I used a $4,000 bed. <laughs> Oopsies. Listen, it was worth it, okay? It was worth it. I'll give them a little nightstand too. We probably could do with a bookshelf that's actually accessible and not like using mods to sneak it into any other locations because otherwise I'm not sure if it'll work <laughs> if I'm doing stuff like that. Oh, you know what we could do? How about instead of the laptop downstairs, we could use the downstairs table as just like an actual table and we can leave it empty on purpose with the intention of Sims maybe being able to eat there. And then up here, I'll make this one into a more proper desk because we have like a little nook that we can sit it in. Ooh, that mural actually kind of matches. I know that's a bit of a stretch, but somehow it almost does a little bit, maybe. <laughs> if I just keep telling myself that, maybe I'll start to believe it. Okay, so they can have that there. And maybe I'll get them one more mirror here too. Is having a mirror at the end of the bed unlucky? That's not what you're supposed to do. That's wrong, isn't it? Maybe I won't do that then. Okay, that might have to be the entire interior. I don't know if we can fit anything else. It's really tight in there, but what we can do is landscape everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna quick delete the foundation so I can scoot all the plants up closer. And I'm gonna go like really all out with the landscaping. I wish we had more of like a deck or something, but I don't really wanna add more tiles. And I also really dislike this side of the building. So maybe I should try to put a tree in front of it. There's something about like this wall that really bugs me. So I'm gonna try and hide it. And then I guess we just try and mix and match in some of these weird pine trees. Doesn't look very good. <laughs> I did actually have some pretty high hopes for this and I feel like I'm kind of letting everybody down here with how I'm doing it, but. Oh, ooh, ooh, maybe we could use this. A debug fence is good because that takes up a bunch of space and then it matches nicely. Maybe I could put like, oh no. I really hate the trees. I don't know if I can bring myself to use them. <laughs> I think they look terrible. I don't even know what a lot of this stuff is. Oh, how about you? Oh, that's better. It's also smaller, but even sized up, it might be okay if I use that one in the back. I wish there was an in-between of those two trees. Should I use the small one? Maybe that one's better for the front because it is like 
thicker so it blocks more stuff. Because I just got done saying how I didn't like it. So maybe I could use the big tree to help block it. There is tiny windows from this pack. I just don't like them, so I don't think I want to use it. I think around the side of the house, I'm going to put some of these little planter boxes. I'm looking, so in this, they use like a little bit of lavender in the flower box. So maybe I could try to use that and like put some lavender out here myself too. I lost my plants. <laughs> I don't know where they went. Hello, my little low-lying flowers. Oh, here we go. Sorry, false alarm, they were right there. So I'll put that like around a lot of the building. Maybe I could raise up some of the bushes I just put. So they're kind of higher up. The back of this is so unbelievably ugly. I think you have to put a tree and then use it to like block the whole back of the building because it just needs to be hidden. It looks bad. And then there's some lavender from, it's the one from Outdoor Retreat. It's similar to the base game stuff, but it, it looks a little bit more like lush and overgrown. So maybe I could fill in some of that in a couple places too. So we can match the flower boxes, but still have this like overgrown look that we're going for. Okay. So I'm kind of picturing something like that. I wish I had something on this wall. That part is bugging me a little bit. And also I'm not really obsessed with the color of the trash can. Maybe I could use this reddish one because it brings out the red from the roof. All right, they have this little tiny werewolf gnome that I can put by the front door. Um, Normally I like to use some of those debug like rock things on the floor to make these walkways, but maybe I could just use this little one and then get like three of them, size them up a little bit. So it makes like a little pathway to walk up. I need to get a mailbox too. Oh, there is a werewolf's mailbox. Okay. I always forget about that. I just never build with this pack. So there's a lot of stuff, like I said earlier, that I just kind of don't really remember is there because <laughs> I don't really ever use it. Maybe I'll try and put some of this lavender in the front and then have the mailbox sort of tucked in with it. That is maybe a bit much, but I'm going to do it anyway. This light is from Horse Ranch, but it kind of works for a light here. And then maybe I get them a little planter box of some sort and put some flowers in it. A different color so we can bring out some more color in here. I love putting planter boxes on my porches. Oh, you know what else we could do? How about this? How about this? The little dog doormat because they're werewolves. <laughs> I think I had said before that I wanted to put a telescope because the telescope is one of those things that came kind of with the werewolves pack. We got one in the base game, but at the same time that werewolves came out, we got this one. This is the werewolves one, but I might use the cheaper one. Can I put one of these little planter boxes on the side too? Maybe I'll put them back here underneath those windows. Just get them kind of around the place to help break it up. I think we could probably go for some little clutter outside, maybe like a garden hose, just something to make this backyard area make more sense. I may even want to make the yard bigger just in general, because it is actually looking a little bit sad right now. <laughs> we could probably go for some more landscaping. I don't know, maybe there could be a grill out here or something, just because there's not a lot of space to sit inside, maybe a fire pit. My game is lagging. Why are you doing that? Stop, stop, stop. Now I'm getting scared it's going to crash. Let me save. Okay, so I'm just putting a couple little bits of extra landscaping in the corners. Maybe I could get them a toy or or just in general, maybe some like more werewolf stuff. Like what if we had a bit of an outdoor gym? Cause you do kind of need gym equipment to be a werewolf. So maybe we could get us some stuff like that and stick it outside. My first thought was actually playground equipment, but the gym stuff is probably more useful if you're trying to play with the werewolves pack. It needs a lot of terrain paint. Cause right now it is looking like a complete and total mess. And then I might go through and add in some trash to like really amp up the mess thing, I'm gonna use some of the werewolves debug trash. I feel like this looks the same as the other werewolves houses that I have built, but I guess there's only so much that you can do with these windows. Like they're, they're so specific. Oh, little werewolves debug rocks, use those. Oh, well, that's nice. Maybe I can put them like, do those fit in the corner or do they, oh, that's too much. Maybe put them here. Sometimes I get a bit carried away with debug. <laughs> I just go through and I just start using everything. <laughs> I don't think I want to have, oh wow, water tower, okay. I was gonna say, I don't think I want to have like literal bags of trash everywhere. Like I don't really want this to be a massive mess. That's not really the vibes. I know that's like most of the debug from the werewolves pack though. Ooh, look at this. We can get some extra trees to fill in the outside. I put a little debug book there on that table inside too. I'm going back inside for a second because 
I actually kind of want to try to get some stuff for some cats and dogs. I just made that joke about the dog doormat, but actually now that I think about it, it might be kind of fun if we had like some little dog bowls. Your sim should be still able to walk around this and then they can have some pets. I can get some little dog toys as well. Some dog toys are actually a good way to fill in this weird empty corner because otherwise I wouldn't have anything there. So we can get a couple little dog toys. There isn't a bathtub, so you can't wash your dog. I guess that's a big problem. But you know, if you need to wash the dog, you can just put a bathtub in the yard. That's what I do, genuinely. Like a lot of the time when I'm playing in starter homes and I don't have a bathtub, I just put a bathtub in the yard. I've also been back on this kick where I put some of this like little, I don't know, it's like grass with flowers, but I put some of that terrain paint down. I had a serious phase where I put that stuff like everywhere in my builds. <laughs> I was doing that in like all of them for a while, but that was a few years ago and now I'm now I'm kind of back in it. Okay, I do think that I still want to get a grill. I don't really know where to put it. I guess maybe just like in the corner. Do you think it's weird if I put a table kind of randomly out here? The backyard just has a ton of stuff. There isn't really any rhyme or reason to any of it either. There's just like stuff everywhere. Ooh, ooh, what about this mirror? I know I talked about putting a mirror above the bed and I said it was bad to do that, but I might do it anyway. <laughs> I kind of like it. We also have this little sundial thing. Oh, I shouldn't just, I can't just use all this. I keep putting all this random stuff just because we have it and I don't think that's a good idea. Speaking of which, how about I get a fish? <laughs> just because we have it, I'll put a fish there. I hate how the roof looks. What if I tried to stop making this weird like, oh no, that's even worse. I don't know, I was trying to do like a cool asymmetrical thing, but it doesn't, you see these like cool pictures of real life houses like that? Oh my God, this is the tiniest image I've ever seen. I just wanted to show you. I just wanted you to see what I was talking about. But you see how it's got like the asymmetrical roof line? I was kind of trying to channel this, like this is sort of the vibe of the house that I'm going for, even with the color scheme, like with the color of the wallpaper that kind of looks like the roof, but I don't know, it just doesn't really, doesn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna try and get some more debug stuff, maybe even from Cottage Living, just to embrace the sort of overgrown nature of it all. And then I might call it a day, because I don't know how much else I can even add to this. <laughs> oh, <gasps> I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Let's put like vines growing up the walls. Oh, that looks so much better. <laughs> like that actually genuinely makes a huge difference to have some little mossy stuff kind of growing up the walls. I'm gonna put it all over the place. <laughs> now that I know I like it, I'm gonna use this stuff everywhere. I think that's actually looking a lot better. This is like way more the vibes that I was going for. And then last, this is kind of what I was talking about when I said like little overgrown stuff. I see a lot of people doing this with their builds where they put these like little tiny bits of debug landscaping everywhere. And I don't know, it just helps to blend it into the rest of the lot, I guess. So I might try and put some of that in just so we have some like actual three-dimensional grass. We have other little bits of grass too, but I don't really, I don't really like those. <laughs> So I don't think I'll use them. What I'm looking for next is the mushrooms. I think the mushrooms are a good last step. Just like a few little mushrooms kind of placed around the building. These are some of my favorite items in the whole game. Those little debug mushrooms are amazing. I use them everywhere sometimes. Those little debug mushrooms are like some of my favorite items in the game. I'm nervous about using the grill now. I feel like it doesn't fit anywhere. Maybe I could swap it and have the grill in the front but then there's nowhere to sit. Maybe I put all the gym stuff over here together in one area, and then I make this section the little outdoor seating space. Do I use the same table? Because this is the only werewolves dining table. I don't think that makes any sense. Just like out in the grass. Never mind. Maybe I do no table. They don't get a table, they don't get a grill either. Sorry, no table, no grill, you can cook inside. And they'll, they'll eat raw meat. The werewolves literally eat raw meat, so it's fine. I'm gonna call it a werewolf shack because the lot name is New Moon Shack. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom house. I built a tiny house for a small werewolf family, space for two adult werewolves, barely. <laughs> and one child. Hashtag Lil Simsy, hashtag werewolf. Okay, I will stick this up on the gallery for you in case you would like to download it. Thank you for building with me. I think this one turned out kind of cute. I don't know, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I, I tried to make all the werewolf stuff work. <laughs> I did my best with what we had, and I like how it looks kind of overgrown like this, so I think I'm pretty happy with it. If you like Sims builds and stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I do a ton of building over here, and I also do a lot of Sims builds pretty much every day over on my Twitch channel. I live stream every single night, so I can link my Twitch down below. I'll be live tonight, and I'll link on the end card a couple of my other werewolf videos that I've done back in the day in case you want to watch some more werewolf content, and I am going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Let me know if I should make a tiny house for other occult types, like an alien one or a mermaid one, because I kind of like the idea of doing that, like a little mini-series. So tell me if you're into it, and I'll do it.